Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your BIOS files in Botticero 35. And you can follow this tutorial if you are starting from scratch with a fresh build or just updating a previous version of Botticero to Botticero 35. So let's dive into it and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is navigate to our web browser. And then we're gonna jump up here and we're gonna type in archive.org. And that's going to bring us to the Internet Archive here. So in the search bar, which you're going to find down here, you're going to type in Botticera B35 BIOS. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see right here we have a full pack BIOS and it's labeled Botticera V35 TMCTV. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So if we drop down to download options, you can see we have torrent as well as zip. We're going to go ahead and download the zip here. So if we just hover over zip, we can click on the download icon right here and it'll start downloading. So this is going to take a little while. We'll let it do its thing and come back once it's complete. All right. So we're just finishing up the download here. You can see we got about three seconds left. All right. So that has been fully downloaded. So I'm just going to go down here to my file explorer open this up and if I go into downloads, I should be able to locate it. Here it is right here. It says full pack BIOS Bobacera V35. So we're going to right click on this and we are going to go down to show more options. And I recommend using 7-zip, but if you have another tool that enables you to unzip and extract your zipped files, go ahead and use that. I'm just gonna go over here to extract files. I'm gonna confirm it with okay, and it's gonna extract everything. So you can see up here, now I have my zipped version, and then right below it, over here, I have my unzipped version. So in order to move this over to my PC that I'm running Botticera on, I'm gonna be using a USB flash drive. So you can see I actually have already plugged that in right here on the left column, it says Samsung flash drive. So all I need to do is just take this unzipped version and drag and drop it directly into my Samsung flash drive. So dropping it in there should take just a little while here. You can see the progress. We're already at over 20%. So should just take about 30 seconds or so to get everything added in over there on my flash drive. All right, so there we go. We're down to the last five seconds or so. And now you can see that is complete. Over here under my Samsung flash drive, we can see that the unzipped version has been added in. So all I'm gonna do now is just X everything out. I'm all done on this PC. I'm gonna shut this down and I'm gonna fire up my PC running Botticera. All right, so here we are booted up into Botticera. So now I'm going to make sure that I have a mouse as well as a keyboard connected. I'm going to hit F1 on my keyboard. That's gonna open up our file system. And now I'm going to connect that USB flash drive to my PC running Botticera. And right here you can see we have our full pack of Botticera version 35 BIOS files. So we're gonna double click on this and now we're going to go in here and highlight all four of these. We have our BIOS, ROMs, saves, and our info right here. We're gonna right click and we're going to copy these. Now we're gonna go over here into our share folder for Botticera. And we are going to now right click anywhere in the open white area and just simply click paste. So now it's going to ask us there's, so now we're gonna get this prompt that says there's already a file with the same name in this location. All we have to do here is simply go down here and I actually recommend you can do this one by one, but if you want this to go quicker, just check this option at the bottom left corner that says apply this option to all existing files. And then we're just going to click overwrite over here in the bottom right corner. And that's gonna do the exact same thing for each of those options. This is gonna be really quick, should take about 15 seconds at the most to overwrite all of these files. So here we are down to the last second. So now we're gonna go over here to file in the top left corner and hit close window. So now we're back to our Botticera page. We're going to go to our main menu. So if you're on your keyboard, hit your space bar. If you're on a gamepad controller, hit your start button. And now we're gonna go down to game settings. We're going to select game settings and under tools at the very top, you're gonna to see update games lists. We're going to select that confirm yes, that's gonna update everything. 
And now we should be able to do a BIOS check. So if we open up our main menu once again, and we drop down to game settings, select that. And now if we just go up rather than going down, our last option here, or actually our second to last option is missing BIOS check. We're going to select that. And here you can see we get a confirmation that there's no missing BIOS files. So now, now we know that we have everything that we need in order to get Botticera version 35 up and running with all of our games and game collections. All right, guys, you can see from this video, really straightforward and easy to update your BIOS files for Botticera 35, and you'll be able to start jumping into all your favorite games and game collections. That's going to do it for today, though. If you found this video helpful and you enjoyed the content here, please give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your support. I'll see you on the next video.